longer than that, but then you have to realize we're talking 20 years. That's a long time, Michael Jenkins. It is. It seems yeah. like yesterday. <laughs> I know, like it just happened. How about that? Good morning, everyone. It is 839, and we do have the one and only Michael Jenkins joining us in studio right now. Jackie said we were going to have a furry friend, so <laughs> there he is right <laughs> here. Ta -da -da. He's our furry friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you are uh, a friend to many people who are seeking out the help and assistance of bankruptcy, but uh, many times you talk about how the assistance you're able to give them and the rules and regulations and all, all that, how that works, but people don't always know, maybe, is this right for me? Are there certain signs that pop up to know if you're right for bankruptcy? Yeah, a lot of times people should be thinking about bankruptcy, but they don't really know they should be thinking about bankruptcy, <laughs> and so instead they just suffer. And um, the suffering really isn't necessary, um, and, and there's a lot of what I call telltale signs that, yeah, you, know, you might want to be talking to a bankruptcy attorney and at least exploring whether it would be a good option for you. Um, I think the first sign uh, is you got so many credit cards, you can't fit them all in one billfold, so you have to have two. And, and it sounds like a joke, but you're serious when people have that many credit cards. Yeah, I mean, um, if it wasn't so, <laughs> so sad, it would be funny. I mean, people come to my office and they bring their credit card statements and we start looking through them and the pile's like this high and Seriously? it's one and they'll have one card company capital one or chase and there's one and two and three and four all with the same company same company and then there's bank of america and, and it's just i don't even understand why people have so many credit cards because these things can carry pretty big balances right and um, you're not really supposed to live with so many credit cards but that's a real big sign if you're carrying balances on all these cards. Right. And um, I don't know how you can pull one out to use them because I, honestly, I don't know where they keep them all. Mm -hmm. Although that's why some of these ladies carry big purses, I guess, right, Jackie? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I guess so. But man, that's, I, I, you know, just trying to keep financing and budget in place with the few that I have, I couldn't imagine <laughs> having that many. I, I would. Hmm, I, have, I, I have two primary ones, and I have a hard time saying, okay, does it go on this card or go on this card? Yeah, kind of emergency. Yeah. You know. And then a food card. And so that, right. that's about it. They have it. their purposes if you can yeah. handle them. But if you have that many, that's telling a different tale. It, it's, a, it's a big problem. Yeah. And then uh, on that uh, same thought, um, when it comes time to actually trying to pay all of this mountain of credit cards, mm -hmm. um, for many people, uh, there's not really enough money to go around, so they have to start juggling them and <laughs> figuring out, well, are we going to pay this one this time or this right. one? So uh, if your juggling act is worthy of Barnum and Bailey's Circus or Ringling Brothers, uh, then you might want to consider uh, seeing somebody for help because um, it is not supposed to be that way and you aren't going to have enough money to keep sustaining making the payments. Now when you're talking juggling, are you also talking about borrowing from one card to pay off somebody else? That's what many people do. They just start t shifting money from one card to the next, or they're busy making all the card payments. Well, and then it's time to go to hy V to get the groceries, and uh, there's no money, so uh, wow. you got to charge them because you've already spent all your money uh, that you had in the bank paying all your credit card payments. Uh, after you've dropped $1,000 in credit card payments, that doesn't leave much money left for doing the stuff you got to pay for. Mm -hmm. So then you charge it, and then you're right back to where you were last month getting nowhere fast. So uh, that's a real telltale sign. Uh, the best thing is to put the credit cards in the drawer and quit using them. That would be novel, but not many people do that. Or able to. Um, so if they're starting to get notices, I imagine saying, hey, you owe us money, uh, that can come in the form of phone calls. Yeah, so um, many people that have uh, more or less given up start to uh, get lots and lots of telephone calls. And so if you kind of are sickened by the sight of one more 800 number showing up on your phone and it's not somebody uh, trying to sell you something but instead collect something. Uh, again, uh, those uh, calls building up can be very frustrating. Uh, if you do answer the phone, the people on the other end don't tend to be very nice. And so um, you might want to, again, uh, look at your bankruptcy options because you don't have to put yourself through all this misery and continue to be harassed by these phone calls day in and day out, day, uh, day and night, weekends. Uh, it gets kind of uh, depressing. They're, they're relentless. Yeah, it's depressing. I couldn't imagine having that job. 
like having to make those calls. Yeah, uh, it's a living for some people. I know, and, it, and, <laughs> and, and it's a job, but I couldn't imagine. So if, if you start getting nervous every time you answer the phone, another telltale sign. Yeah, so or if you've just turned it off altogether because <laughs> you just can't deal with it anymore. <laughs> not a good thing. That's okay. not a good thing. Um, the uh, Another sign is that you uh, have run out of money, but you still got more bills to pay. So you run out to the local uh, payday uh, loan oh. store, you know, Easy Money and Advance America and all right. these uh, payday loan places that say, yeah, come to us, we'll, uh, we'll cut you $500. The interest rate's only uh, 200%. So um, I if, you've gotten, if you've gotten some of those, um, you're already doomed um, right. because they just keep renewing those loans because from the moment they take the money out of the bank, then they have to get another loan to cover their bills. And then you start mounting these up and we've got clients that have been to every payday store in Des Moines and then they've resorted to those that are on the internet. Well, if you're resorting to payday loans at all, that's a sign of warning. desperation. Yeah. And it's a big warning sign and you should be seeing what your bankruptcy options are. Now, another real big sign, to me it's obvious, but not so obvious to many people going through it, but if you can't remember the last time you got a full paycheck uh, because your wages are being garnished by uh, one creditor after another, uh, you don't have to go through this. Uh, and you know, once it happens the first time, uh, it might be a good idea to say, hey, can I get this stopped? Yeah, can I uh, put an end far. to this? And um, you're paying out lots of money and it's not gonna stop. And then uh, you've got other obligations that you can't pay. It's not just groceries. Um, you might not be able to pay your house payment when they're taking your paycheck, or you lose your car payments uh, going out the door because they're taking 25% of your pay in a paycheck. Well, that money goes to a lot of important things. And usually if someone's getting garnished, it isn't that they only have one debt that they haven't paid right. that went to judgment. They, pay, they didn't pay it because they didn't have money, and they likely have other debts that they didn't pay also. So again, should probably see a bankruptcy attorney, find out your options. Yeah, it means you're gonna have even less money. Well, yeah. I was gonna say, it, it's scary hearing you say things like this about the signs that happen, um, but I love hearing that there are options uh, for you. So hopefully yeah. people are acting on those. If your uh, home's in foreclosure because you kept paying all the credit card companies, uh, that's a sign that you might wanna see a bankruptcy attorney. For the life of me, I don't understand why people elect to pay their credit cards and medical bills and decide they're just gonna skip their home payment um, because they can pull out the rug from under you and take your home. The credit card companies and the medical bills really can't take much of anything, but uh, I guess they make the loudest noise at the credit card companies and so they get paid. But um, yeah, if your home's in foreclosure, you, know, you probably need to see a bankruptcy attorney or, or if it's not for bankruptcy, some advice regarding the foreclosure or something to that effect. Right. Now, would that be some advice that you want to give people that if they're in this financial crunch, that your priorities should really be your home before your medical bills? Well, that's how I see it. Uh, I, I see it that your home should be your priority number one payment, no matter what kind of other bills you've got. Uh, the only bill that I would say is probably as important is your automobile loan because uh, you need your car to go to work and uh, you, when you miss payments there's not so much latitude with uh, your car. Uh, with, uh, with the mortgage company they take a lot longer to act. Uh, there's ways to slow things up in the foreclosure. With a car you fall about three payments down and you're going to be walking or taking the uh, bus and so uh, if you need to get to your job then I would say your car ought to be pretty important too, mm -hmm. probably on equal par right. with your house. You might be sleeping in your car someday. Uh, it's sad to say. Um, if the car that you bought a year or two ago has gotten repossessed, you definitely need to see a bankruptcy attorney because you probably traded a car in and got yourself uh, a little bit too high of a car payment and uh, now you're gonna end up with a bill uh, coming back on you for probably over $10,000. So uh, it's probably not your only bill and uh, now you gotta be paying a lot of money for nothing because uh, they already took the car. So uh, you definitely wanna see a bankruptcy attorney if that's happened. Um, if you uh, have gotten so sick and tired of all the bills building up that you don't even open them up anymore, you ought to pick <laughs> oh, up no. the phone Kinda and like call the phone calls, a yeah. bankruptcy attorney. Um, if the folder that you've got with all the medical bills and all the other bills is as thick as the Des Moines phone book, uh, you, you might wanna call a bankruptcy attorney. 
I know the phone book's gotten a little bit smaller these days, but still, uh, if it's that thick, uh, you're in trouble mm -hmm. and you don't have to uh, keep uh, having sleepless nights and going through all this pain and suffering. You can end it and file bankruptcy and get rid of all that stuff. So call a bankruptcy attorney. Um, if you've taken out a 401k loan, which I highly recommend against, or gotten a home equity loan on your home, which I highly recommend against to pay bills, and so you've cleaned up all the bills, paid off ten or fifteen thousand dollars of credit cards, and a year and a half, two years later, you've got another fifteen or twenty thousand dollars in credit cards, you really need to call a bankruptcy attorney because you're living the wrong way and uh, you really need to put an end to the credit cards and uh, the only way you might be able to do that is file bankruptcy so you're not going to have them to use and keep getting into trouble. Because that's what this does, this cleans up those kind of bills, right? It gets rid of them all, gives you a fresh start and uh, you can learn to how, how to live financially uh, in a more appropriate manner versus what I would say for many people is a careless manner because many of the problems with credit card debts are just poor judgment and carelessness. Um, now some people just have hard times and I sympathize when people have hard times but they resort to their credit cards then uh, when they lose their job to live on them and they're really not meant uh, as a bridge to the next time you get a job because uh, when you finally get the job most of the time it isn't going to be a job that pays worlds above the previous job and sometimes it's less so you've been living on these credit cards for the last seven or eight or nine months and now you racked up twenty thousand dollars well now that you got the job it isn't oh now i can pay them back right. <laughs> uh, they had credit card bills before they lost their job and so this has just made it worse and uh, it's usually a point of no return when you do that and generally uh, i would say more often than not that situation is going to result in a bankruptcy, unfortunately. Now, Michael, what would you tell someone um, who might be in a situation where they might need your assistance, but they're afraid to go through with the bankruptcy because they think it's going to affect them for a long time? They say, oh, what are people going to think? Uh, what would you tell them? Well, uh, as far as what people think, I really wouldn't worry about <clears throat> what people think. I would worry about protecting myself and my family because they come first. And um, it's not that hard to bounce back from a bankruptcy once you do it. Uh, quite frankly, most forms of credit uh, are available to people immediately after the bankruptcy is over with. Um, credit cards, unfortunately, will be uh, offered to you within six months for many people after the bankruptcy if they had them before. Mm -hmm. Car loans are available the day your bankruptcy is over. There are lenders that are willing to lend. There's a price to pay and a higher interest rate but the credit is available and even a home mortgage is available for most of the big mortgage lenders uh, within three years after a bankruptcy. So, so I really it's not that long of a period even for a, for a home mortgage just to hit the reset button and get your life back together. That's right and um, you know it's a lot easier for people to go to work with a clear mind where they can focus on work um, you know especially if they have jobs where they're in sales and things like that where it's really important to be able to focus and not have other things clouding your mind because you have to be kind of thinking of the job and the task ahead and uh, if you've got too many other distractions you aren't going to do your job very well and if you're working on commission and you just can't focus um, it's just you're, you're defeating it's yourself. Affect you even more, yeah. The nice thing to know is there are options out there and if people want to talk more about those options if, they, if any of these uh, statements that you made today are kind of ringing true for some people how can they get in touch with you? Well you can call me on the phone I'm happy to answer questions at 255-1855 or you can find me on the internet at www.iowa-bankruptcylaw.com. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Michael. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thanks. All right, it is 8.53 right now, and we will be right back. This is CW Iowa Live in West Des Moines.